everyone, my name is Melissa from Sea Creations by Melly and welcome to my first YouTube video. So for today's recipe, I'm going to be sharing my strawberry churro bars recipe. If you're interested in learning how to make these bars, then please keep on watching. Thank you. I'm going to try my best to not make this video too long. Therefore, let's get started with the ingredients. So for this recipe, you will be needing some sugar, some crest roll, two, some sour cream, some cinnamon, pure cinnamon, vanilla extract, strawberry extract, one egg, a bar of cream cheese, some strawberry cake, and strawberry shortcake crumbs. I will make sure to write down on the description box the exact recipe and other items we will be using is, I forgot to mention, palm oil, a pan, and to mix my filling I will be using my KitchenAid. If you don't have one you can always use an electric mixer. So let's get started. You want to make sure to have your cream cheese bar at room temperature as well as you want to make sure that your egg and your sour cream are at room temperature too in your kitchen mixer you want to go ahead and add your cream cheese Give this a little mix. Since your, since your cream cheese is at room temperature, it will mix really nice and quick. To your cream cheese, you wanna add one fourth of a cup of sugar. Give this another mix. After a minute of mixing, you can add your sour cream. Remember, I will be writing the exact recipe down below on the description box. Give this another soft mix. Adding my pure vanilla. And my strawberry extract. Finally, I'm gonna put in my egg. one more time I'm going to clean my bowl on the sides to make sure everything mixes well another mix and finally your filling should have a texture like this should 
be a bit running. Before putting my filling to the side, I'm going to add my strawberry cake. Make sure you add the strawberry cake into big chunks because when, once you mix the cake with the filling, they kind of break apart and you wanna have big chunks of cake in here. don't have to add too much of the strawberry cake just a bit goes a long way so now my filling looks something like this can't really tell due to the camera lighting but now I'm gonna put my filling on the side I'm going to get my pan, my clear pan. Before adding anything on it, I'm gonna spray it with some palm oil. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the side for a quick minute. I'm going to get one fourth of a cup of sugar We'll put it inside a bowl and mix it with a bit of cinnamon. Sorry about that. So once my cinnamon and sugar looks just the way I like it, I'm going to put it on the side, I'm gonna get my pan. Remember, I sprayed some oil. Now I'm gonna add a small layer of cinnamon with sugar. Now I'm gonna get one of my doughs, pop it open, I'm going to layer it in my pan like so. This is how it should look. I'm gonna give it another gentle spray of palm oil. You wanna make sure you add oil so the um, dough bakes well. I'm going to get my filling now. And add it on top of my dough make sure you get all your fillings with the same spoon I'm gonna go ahead and spread it should now look something like this. I'm sorry, you can't really tell how it, it how it looks due to the lighting. 
So I've simply added a small layer of cinnamon and sugar in the bottom. Well, first I started with some oil all over my pan. Then I added uh, a small layer of cinnamon with sugar. I've added my um, first layer of dough, sprayed it with some oil once again, and now I topped it off with my um, cream cheese filling. I'm sorry. Um, and now I'm gonna get my second layer of dough. This is the dough I use. So I'm gonna pop it open again. gonna layer it once again like this okay I'm gonna add some oil on top of my dough once again going to add some cinnamon with sugar again and you don't want to be greedy with your cinnamon and sugar because this is what's going to give that illusion of churro I'm gonna add some oil once again not too much like that and I actually forgot to add some of my strawberry shortcake inside with the filling just a little bit you can do it if you want to that's optional I'm going to only use it to decorate my um, top layer once I finish with this so you are pretty much done here with your strawberry churro bars now you simply have to bake this pan or your pan at 350 degrees for exactly 30 to 35 minutes. You don't want to over bake this because then the, um, the dough gets a little too um, like burnt and it just doesn't taste well. So I'm going to go ahead and bake it. I already cleaned my space and meanwhile my strawberry churro is baking in the oven I want to mention a couple things one is that I prefer baking them in the foil pans that you find at the Dollar Tree or Walmart for just one dollar um, also I wanted to mention that I am new to YouTube so sorry if I stutter or if I mix my words here and there I apologize I promise to get better and if you guys are interested and finding the results on the strawberry churro bars, then please keep on watching. Thank you. So I went ahead and popped out my strawberry churro from the oven already. It looks something like this. It might look at first like if it's a little burnt because of the cinnamon and sugar we've added on top, but it is not over baked. Um, and before I cut it into squares, and before I start decorating it on top, I'm gonna let this cool for at least one hour. So my strawberry churro has finally cooled down and it looks something like this. Because my pan is not perfectly straight from the sides, my bars are gonna have a small little curve on the side, but that's okay. I am not going to be selling these, these are just for me. You're able to cut them in as many pieces as you wish. Here I'm going to be cutting them into eight pieces.
going to pop one out from the pan. Okay. And this is how the bars should look like. Not sure if you can tell due to the lighting. So this is how the bar should look like. Let me see if it focus. This is how they should look. They smell really, really good. Mm. With some whipped cream, some strawberry shortcake crumbs, and a strawberry. I'm going to be decorating the top. my strawberry in half. I will only be using one part of the strawberries. I'm going to add some strawberry shortcake crumbs and then add my strawberry on top. It now looks like this. So this is the way my strawberry churro bars turned out. If you like this recipe, please make sure to recreate it and tag me on my Instagram at Sweet Creations by Melly. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see. They honestly taste really, really good. The strawberry cake bread inside gives it a different flavor from just a regular plain um, churros. So before I end this video, I hope once again you guys like this recipe. Please um, forgive me if this video or this recipe wasn't what you expected. I still have so much to learn here um, in making YouTube videos, so please bear with me. And to close this video, I'm going to go ahead and give this, these bars a bite.